Hi, it's Coach Android, and today I want to teach you how to set up a corporate email address or your email address that's not a Gmail email address, a POP3 email address as it's called. There's a Gmail icon, and then if we search, there's also an email icon. If we go in to pull up all of our applications by pushing the bottom middle button on the screen, we will find email. It's pretty easy. It's a step-by-step -step process, but what confuses people is when they don't have the necessary information to set up their account. You're going to need to have your POP3 information, manual setup, pop three username coach at coach android dot com password is stored in there pop server ours happens to be mail dot coach android dot com the port we're gonna leave the same and we're gonna click next checking our incoming settings and now it's gonna ask us for our SMTP SMTP, there's different port numbers, sometimes they're 26, sometimes they're 465. If we don't have this information from our IT guy or web hosting company, let's try 26 first. Security type usually requires a security type. We're going to choose SSL, changes it to 465. Let's change it back to 26 and see if that works. Click on next. It's checking. Cannot safely. Let's go back, put in 465 and see if that works. Cannot safely. You see, it's not only you. Let's try none. Try port 26 next and see what happens. There you go, it accepted that. SMTP settings are very tricky and every mail server and every email account with a different company has different specific settings. We're going to send email from this account by default and it's going to check for email every 15 minutes but we can change that to check email every 5 minutes. Next. We're going to skip the sample account name. Give this account a name. This is an optional step, but we're going to call it Coach. This is a display name. This is when I send an email out to someone. What are they going to see? Who did it come from? The name is going to be Coach Android. Check. Done. Loading messages. We're going to compose an email, send an email to ourselves just to make sure that it's actually working. Send. If we hit refresh, some people get obsessive and they start hitting refresh all day long to check for new messages. You'll see in our inbox the email we just sent out. There's folders in every mailbox. There's the inbox, drafts, outbox, and sent. We saw the email we received. We click on the send box. It'll show the one that we sent. If we go back to the inbox just quickly, open up this email that we see. We can do. It shows you an option for reply all or reply or delete. If we click on the bottom middle button on the phone, the menu button, 
it gives us the option also to forward it or to mark it as unread. Say we want to forward it. We could forward this one to coach android at gmail.com. We can also add in information. Thought you would love this. And that's it. We see the quoted text below it. We hit send. And it's off. We want to check that it's sent. We can click on inbox on the top left. There you go. It came in on the Gmail account. Outbox is empty. And the send shows both our sent emails.